we got this really interesting um post here courtesy of dance system um formerly known as elvis um from the legendary label um flipping night slugs i'm sure most of you are aware of him right or formerly known as sorry elvis 1999 1990 um he put up a really interesting post that i thought um i wanted to kind of you know basically cover regarding djs and regarding the whole hard techno scene thing that's been kind of taking over um you know this the scene at large or maybe the party tune vibe thing which has been kind of a thing that's been permanent fixture in clubbing space and in music you've been hearing and most of it is basically relating to a lot of djs in the scene now going out and playing i don't know britney spears records christina Aguilera records quote-unquote fun records to basically soften up the vibe on the dance floor like established DJs are kind of getting annoyed by it because essentially those records are kind of bangers right it's like playing the best you know it's like playing a Beyonce edit a Justin Timberlake edit a Rihanna edit right and playing on a dance floor of course it's going to absolutely smash but you can't have a full hour of a set full of just bangers it doesn't work um I you know I'm not too sure about you guys but I don't really enjoy those type of DJs anyway and it's not really a fun um way to party because you end up kind of you know blowing your load way too early so I think this dance system guy had some really good points to make regarding that. And obviously, um, it kind of ties into how he kind of sees himself as an artist. But I thought he made some very astute points I'm going to read here, courtesy of his Instagram account. So his caption says, a note I wrote to myself in July last year. And the note itself says the following. When I brought back dance system in 2019, the landscape of the dance music was a very different place. Fun was kind of lost in the sea of serious techno in her tech house. I saw dance system as an antidote to that. Post COVID, we all came out and bought the party vibes, playing tracks to bring joy to an audience that had been locked down for two years. The party train didn't stop though, and it's become the norm and I'm tired of it. And I have to agree, I'm kind of tired of it too. I'm not going to lie. Going to going out nowadays and hearing fucking Britney Spears edits, it's like, come on, it's kind of boring now, but people like it. So it is what it is, I guess. It's hard to challenge an audience these days after they've been overfed on bangers. This is what um, is expected of the world I have found myself in. I thought I could play a role at a party guy, but the truth is I'm a weirdo art school kid with something to say. <sighs> you kind of have to cringe when you type that, right? I know we're all in our own way weirdo art school kids anyway, right? I'm, I'm, I'm sure most of us probably in that world, but you kind of have to cringe when you type that out in the notes yourself. If you don't cringe... You're probably a bit of a cunt, to be fair. But anyway, let's continue. I tried my hardest with the work it to make um it, to make it work as a party guy and chase financial success, but it did nothing but leave me feeling empty inside. I'm now trying to reinvent the way I view success and happiness in this industry that is a slave to the monolithic corporations. Oh fuck off, mate. <laughs> All right. I need to step outside of it. Dance music has always been an outsider music, not part of the big mass media. Too late now, it definitely is. I need to stay 100% true to myself and my artistic vision, even if it means a, I'm a to it's a total reset. I'm not interested in this big dangling that you can never reach of increasing fame and money. I just want to make art that fills my soul. I feeds my soul that others can um, relate to as much as uh, and, and have more meaningful level than anything that's being smashed and danced to. I want to challenge, confuse and twist people's minds in my music and live show. 
I'm not interested in just playing the bangers for anyone now. It means no joy. It brings me no joy. It's just a dopamine hit that leaves my soul wanting more. I want to create experiences that will stick with the audience for their whole life. I've got a huge problem with DJs that do this sort of stuff. Like, I think it's it's a thing that happens to most artists. I don't know why it is particular with DJs, but they love to complain. They love to moan. They love to bitch and cry about things that really don't matter. At the level that Elvis is at, at the level that Dance System is at, you can play what the fuck you want. You've already earned that right because of all the prior brilliant work you've done via your own stuff and obviously with the tie-in of the label that you're on with night slugs and stuff like you basically got a fan base that's going to follow you around the world around the country until the day you stop making music right or the, until the day you stop actually performing so you can actually get away with playing way more than i can get away with because i'm still trying to like make a name for myself so i probably have way more of a pressure on myself when I go and play in clubs and stuff to maybe play some of the bangers because people don't know who I am. So I have to kind of quote unquote earn their respect, right? Or earn the right to play. But when you're somebody like Kim and you already got a name, you can literally do what you want. So the fact that they get on these apps and they start writing these manifestos or these proclamations and start kind of crying online, it really does confuse me because like at this stage, if you can't play what you want now, when will you ever be able to play what you want? If you're out here doubting that you can play this and play that, it doesn't make any sense. And when it comes to DJing, I've always felt like a DJ is somebody that always has like a point of view on music, has a point of view on what would sound good in a club, has an idea or a perspective of how they would like dance music to sound like. And that's all it is. It's not that difficult. It's just your taste about, it's, it's just your taste level of music, basically. And I feel like if you can't, do that in a club and you're afraid or you make the the dancers force you to choose how you play or what you play then maybe you shouldn't be a dj maybe you should do something else you know what i mean if you're feeling that pressured and you can't do what you want you can't express yourself how you want then why even bother doing it it doesn't make any sense i understand the hard techno thing the bangers thing is annoying i get it but i'm a big believer in just focusing on doing the things that you actually enjoy and spending less time crying about the things that you don't enjoy especially when it comes to like music especially when it comes to creative expression whatever it may be like there's a there's an unlimited amount of people out there like who are creating great amazing things creating cool amazing parties and experiences that don't just prescribe to the whole bangers hard techno thing go and support them go and pitch your an idea to play at their sort of party it's not that hard it really isn't that difficult um but people just i don't know prefer to complain and prefer to pontificate online about these sort of things but then i also think maybe a part of this is like i've always felt like with some djs i'm not too sure if this is the case with dance system but i feel like with some djs similar to like some of the top comedians i feel like they have this thing about them where they sort of slightly on the sly deep down in secret despise their audience maybe it's because when you start making art or you start creating art when you start becoming an entertainer whatever it may be you start off very small you start off with a very hardcore audience but then obviously the more success you have the more popular you become the bigger your fan base becomes and the big the more wide and variety it is but sometimes the demands are different so maybe the audience that you had when you started is very different to one you have now 10 years down the line in your artistic journey so maybe you despise the audience that you have now because they're demanding things of you that you don't want to do anymore. But I, I always feel like that's part of the job. Part of the job of being an artist or being a DJ is that you're almost like a service, you're, you're, you're almost in service of the people standing in front of you. It's never just like a human jukebox thing, right? You're not a human jukebox. I'm not a human jukebox. I think some of the things I used to hate when I used to play out a lot were people requesting tunes. It almost felt a bit insulting when you're playing and they were telling you what to play. But that's kind of the relationship. You kind of have to have a bit of back and forth. And if the people nowadays want bangers, you should find a way to play bangers within the stuff that you like to play and kind of slip it in and feed them in here bits and bobs but you don't have to be completely dictated by them but you should be appeasing some of the things that they kind of want to have and if you don't then you need to do a hard reset and kind of start again and maybe clear out the decks or completely change the direction of what you want to play but i just 
don't like the complaining because there's no need to especially if you're at a level of this type of dj like dance system you have the ability to play anywhere in the world you get booked at all the best clubs you play at all the best festivals like no one's really forcing you to play a certain way really even promoters they might they might have an idea of what you play they might ask you to play a theme or whatever or a vibe but they're not going to tell you precisely we want bangers so the fact that he's complaining like this is a bit odd but djs love this sort of stuff as you can see here one of my other favorite djs called Symphy. she also added her opinion to the comments or in the in the reply sorry in the comments of the post that he put up sorry and um, where she says this resonates so much with me i've also been thinking about it a lot i mean everyone has different tastes but the stuff but this stuff but this hard techno stuff gets a bit boring plus the commercial party euro trash stuff is what made us go to the clubs back in the days instead of commercial discos music and vibes were so much nicer i'd stay stick with to what you feel like it might have take a bit longer to get noticed but quality always is long is lost stays longer also are we ready to sell your souls for two thousand and fifty two are we ready to sell our souls for 250 yet nope well, I don't know why Symphy's complaining because she's one of the best house DJs and producers in the world. And I think most people know what her sound is and what her vibe's about. So if you go to a party and you're expecting Cynthy to play like a Britney Spears edit, you're probably not paying close attention. So again, you shouldn't really feel, this shouldn't make you feel any type of way that people are playing hard dance, hard techno, you know, fucking pop edits. It shouldn't really bother you when you're one of the best DJs in the world. But again, DJs love to complain another big dj um om unit says something as well um i feel you and i wasn't even a party guy crowds are really twitchy now not really i don't think it's again like i don't understand why these guys get so twitchy they get so nervous about crowds being twitchy because they feel like oh they want bangers it's like if they want bangers just don't play it you're the one that's in charge you're the one standing in front of the turntables you can decide what you want to play it's not that deep another person born dirty thanks for sharing g i've always felt that way and it still do today it will always create and fight for what my soul screams my soul screams like all right mate give your head a wobble fucking drink a glass of water mate to create but to create but it's hard for sometimes to find a, a quiet space to hear what your guts are telling you you know how you find a quiet space you take off your headphones you turn off your phone and you actually focus on the music but people don't do that they just pontificate about this nonsense um telling you all the all the saturation and noise of this industry is asking for numbers and results instead of depth and authenticity this is this is the kind of conversations people have when they feel like they're not winning when they're not winning they see other people winning they blame it on the industry and the things like it's like bro maybe the majority of people are right maybe that music that they want at this current moment is the right thing but there's always spaces for you that's a good thing about i think dance music anyway just because the most popular person out there is getting millions of dollars for playing the most baitest horrible music it doesn't mean you can't also have a career and it doesn't invalidate the whole scene because they're up there there's all these different nooks and crannies you can always occupy so it shouldn't really matter what what is happening with the whole euro trash how taking the thing anyway really and truly but again you know these like to complain um Sai also said the same thing she says make music weird again again Sai is one of the best djs out there she was also one of the co-founders of one of the best kind of queer alternative festivals here in london called body movement festival you can do what you want like you shouldn't if you want to make me weird music just make it play it no one you know what i mean you're a big dj why are you complaining? Another one, Mickey, Maggie Ward. I have a note on my phone very similar to this. Fuck the system, make art for you. Do it then, innit? Why are you crying? Another one, um, putting it here too. When, you real, when you're real about your art, the long game always wins. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> let's let's also say that sometimes it doesn't winning meaning your content because you aren't sacrificing a part of it the rest of the bonus um the power of saying no maybe english isn't her first language another one bless madonna she says i don't have to tell you how i feel about this i love you bro i'm here with you another one we we go getting back into the cooler shaka bro i feel this so hard james i love this one. i love when people do this i love when people who know you who know the artist in real life mention the actual artist's real name instead of just their artist name hey james i definitely get you man it's like bro okay we get it you're friends with the guy like jog on you fucking knob another one excited to hear um excited to hear what comes next pal well, you've always have my support all right bring back elvis 1999 another one yes my brother but yeah everybody and, and let's say the last one the claire fifi it's apparent a lot of us feel like this but not many speak about it 
why don't you speak about it then again how much of a pussy you have to be not to just say hey i don't really like this hard techno thing it's a bit cringe it's a bit annoying what's so like controversial about what he said it's not really that is that not going to get you a booking because you said you don't like all the fucking britney spears edits that's not a big thing to, it's not a big that's not a controversial opinion to have a controversial opinion to have is like there's only two genders like that if you want to really cause a fucking debate say there's only two genders go on say that then you're going to cause a debate but saying fucking hard techno thing you're not into it you don't like it that's not really a a, a bold opinion honestly djs are so fucking moist man so fucking moist um but yeah uh, big up everybody there ace momo remember the ballad what's that remember the ballad for the that one blue mine oh, cowards onward sorry okay cool but big up dance system very much interested in his opinion i think what he said largely i agree with i think all the crying and complaining about what you're being forced to play because all the kids all the punters want a certain type of music is dumb i think if you're a true artist you always do what you think is right and what you think is true to you and then you obviously hope that it connects to the audience or you do a bit of both but complaining and crying that your audience is forcing you to play certain things is fucking foolish especially if you had a level of a dance system if you are a level of a claire fifi if you're a level of a synthy if you're a level of all these people on unit like all these people right so roadside like there's no way you can say that the audience is forcing you they're definitely 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 not but again what do i know let me sip some water here because i'm just about to die here with my throat fucking getting tighter and tighter and tighter maybe i'm fucking you know i'm fucking sucking on some um you know on some things <laughs> in my brain but big up everybody tuning in live i appreciate if you're here and you're still enjoying what you're seeing and you're liking what you see make sure you're smashing the like button down below